Simon Winchester, Land, How the Hunger for Ownership Shaped the Modern World. In Land, How the Hunger for Ownership Shaped the Modern World, Simon Winchester delves into the history of humanity's relationship with land, revealing its role as both a driver of our greatest accomplishments and a source of conflict and injustice. He tracks the evolution of land ownership, from the nomadic hunter-gatherer era to modern times, and discusses different perspectives on land use and private property. At the heart of this exploration lies the concept of ownership and the various ways individuals and societies have marked, fenced, and claimed land throughout history. The book also tackles the lasting impacts of colonial expansion, enclosure of communal lands, and efforts to preserve land for future generations. The Complex Relationship Between Humans and Land Simon Winchester's Land explores the intricate connections humans have with land throughout history. The book delves into the multifaceted ways land has impacted humanity's greatest achievements, darkest tragedies, and shameful atrocities. The OBE officer traces human behavior towards land, from respecting, owning, and even stealing it, to fighting over it and now preserving it. The book weaves through diverse themes such as geography, economy, culture, and environmentalism, offering a unique perspective on the relationship between humans and their surroundings. Winchester's insightful and thought-provoking exploration invites readers to question their own connection with the land. Evolution of Land Ownership Land ownership, which was initially a concept foreign to ancient societies, only emerged about 4,000 years ago as people transitioned from their nomadic lifestyle. Early ways of marking boundaries included the use of stones, fences, and eventually legal agreements. Today, 317 international borders separate territories, each with its unique set of complexities related to governance and services. The International Map of the World in 1891, the International Map of the World Project was initiated to map all the land on the planet at a scale of 1 to 1 million inches. Detailed sheets were drawn with 4 degrees of latitude and 6 degrees of longitude. However, the project was eventually hindered by air travel's need for aerial views. The International Civil Aviation Organization was formed in 1947 and mandated to produce aerial charts. The IMW project was closed unfinished by the United Nations in 1986. The Dark Side of Land Ownership In the 18th and 19th centuries, European nations took ownership of any land they discovered, disregardful of the natives already living there. That gave rise to the infamous Manifest Destiny that saw American settlers carve out land from the indigenous peoples. Even today, land ownership is a touchy subject. The U.S. enforces land ownership stringently, while Scandinavian countries, Switzerland, and Belarus have relaxed views on private land. In Scotland, visitors can access any land if they follow the Outdoor Access Code, while Native American tribes believe that land belongs to everyone. The Persecution of Japanese Americans Before World War II, Japanese Americans were an important part of California's agricultural economy. However, after the Pearl Harbor attack, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9600, which led to the internment of hundreds of thousands of Japanese Americans in camps. When they were finally released, many found their land had been seized by their fellow citizens or local governments. Returning what was taken New Zealand's efforts to recognize Maori people's rights have been more substantial than other settler states. Since the 1970s, the country has worked towards returning ancestral lands taken from the Maori people after a treaty with the British in 1840. This movement was spurred by Maori leader Wena Cooper, who led a march across the North Island to present a petition to the government. After investigating the treaty's consequences, the government paid local Maoris $170 million and issued a formal apology. Many New Zealanders believe the government should return the land taken from the Maori people. A Shared Future The history of land ownership and the benefits of communal land use are explored in this summary. Indigenous people and commoners in England believed in land ownership for the benefit of the community. 
However, the eventual enclosure of common property and the establishment of trespassing laws changed land ownership. Currently, 432 families own half of Scotland's land, but in 2016, a law was passed allowing land to be sold only to communities that promise to pursue sustainable development. In the United States, land trusts have been established to return land to common ownership. The Rocky Narrows, a 274-acre wilderness in Massachusetts, has been owned by the local community since 1897 through the state's trustees of the reservations. Across the U.S., there are 1,300 small-town land trusts and 250 community land trusts. Land ownership is crucial for sustainable development that benefits society. Drowning lands Rising sea levels caused by melting polar ice threaten to submerge low-lying areas, including island nations, as the land absorbs more solar heat and accelerates melting, contributing to a thinning of the polar ice cap. Major landowners with higher elevation properties do not worry about rising seas, leaving vulnerable communities to face the consequences of disappearing coasts. Land and History In his book, Simon Winchester explores human connections to the land and touches on tragedies and predicted disasters using a classical historian prose. His sympathetic view and dispassionate approach add to the power of his account, making it a compelling read for students and adults alike. While the book's size may seem daunting, Winchester's surprising discoveries keep the reader engaged throughout. This treatise on land and its history is just one of Simon Winchester's many fascinating works, which include books on precision engineering, American history, and natural disasters. As Winchester illustrates in his meticulously researched account, the concept of land ownership has been central to human history and has shaped societies in profound ways. While it often inspired innovation and progress, the struggle for land has also led to conflict, dispossession, and environmental degradation. The book offers a powerful reminder of the importance of revisiting our relationship with land and considering more equitable and sustainable approaches to land use and ownership. From community land trusts and conservation easements to land reparations for indigenous peoples. Ultimately, land asks us to confront the realities of our insatiable hunger for ownership and reckon with the consequences it has left in its wake. <laughs>